to make the circular economy real, you need to address four key things. You need to be able to source plastic waste. It may sound easy, but actually that's one of the key limitations today. You then need to be able to process it into a form where it can actually be used in different conversion facilities in order to turn it back into a useful product that can be further purified and brought back to virgin plastic or other products. The more that you create degrees of freedom in that to go after different, more distressed material, the better the overall economics are. On the west coast of the US right now, we have our exemplar unit, which is currently running in polystyrene mode. That takes in waste polystyrene from the agricultural industry. So this is low-end polystyrene, lots of fillers and colorants in it, also soil and fertilizer in it. And we can take that material into our unit without washing. That can be a negative cost component of your overall recipe and feedstock, which is what we put in. Now, you wouldn't want to run the whole unit on that, but as a component to optimize the economic operation of your unit, that is something that you're wanting to do. I want to be able to play. I don't want to be um, incumbent on one particular source of relatively clean waste. So, you know, the conversion and the purification step are also really important in terms of enabling the sourcing and processing, because I may not have to do as much of those things. And every time, that I touch the waste before it goes into my pyrolysis reactor. I'm adding cost, I'm adding greenhouse gas emissions, and I'm making my process less competitive.